Ah, yes. The Battle of the Jaguars. One body is made of Alda, and the other, Popla. How will their tones compare in a duel? Will the Squire, classic vibe Jaguar, crush and destroy the Fender Kurt Cobain Jaguar with its monstrous tone, scaring off the Kurt Cobain Jaguar to run to its other pack of Kurt Cobain Jaguars? Or will the Kurt Cobain Jaguar prevail and fight to the death? That's what we intend to find out today. Well, hello there. How's it going? Today's gonna be a fun one. I got something to show you, hold on. You're probably thinking to yourself, you're probably like, Aaron, that's a Squire Classic vibe. Why is there humbuckers in it? Well, I had my buddy JQ Guitars, I'll put his link here, uh, route it out for me so I could get some, some humbuckers in here. I'm really glad I did. He did such a good job. He did the pit guard too. So anyways, shout out JQ, thanks man. <clears throat> this is a super distortion, same as the Kurt Cobain Jag, and this is a SH-159N, it's the same more Duncan. I had it in my high flyer and I didn't like it, and I didn't return it in time, so it lives in the Jag now. So there's really no difference between the Kurt Cobain Jag and the Squire now, besides neck pickups. So anyway, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna shoot them out, we're gonna compare them to each other, and we're gonna determine which one sounds better. Let's go. So you can probably obviously, you know which guitar I'm gonna get rid of. I don't know, I've just, I've been really disappointed in Fender. I've been into guitars, I started playing guitars not a year ago yet, I don't know, like nine months ago or something. The Kurt Cobain Jag was the first guitar I got, my first real guitar, you know? I really wanted that Nirvana tone and from everything I read, this was the guitar that I needed to have. But once I started learning more about guitars and getting an ear for the tone I'm after, I started realizing that I just don't like the way this guitar sounds. I will say the neck pickup in here, I like this 
neck pickup more in a jag but i still like the way the squire just completely kicks this thing's ass in every way imaginable so one of the first things that i did when i picked up this squire jag when it still had the single coils i went to a local guitar shop here in seattle and i compared it against real vintage jags ones that were costing like 10 grand seven thousand like really expensive guitars and the squire just totally hung with them the feel was the same the sound was the same i actually have some audio clips on my phone maybe i'll put them in the end of this video if you want to hear the squire with single coils compared to the vintage ones but it was like off my cell phone in the middle of a noisy store so it doesn't really sound the greatest but i digress now what i really don't like about this kurt cobain jag is the neck is super chunky uh it's a really chunky thick neck and the frets are really sharp on the edges i don't know why fender does this they put these stupid jumbo frets on everything and i can't stand them like when i picked up a real jag in the store a vintage one it felt nothing like this like this feels really really so far off it's ridiculous another thing is it's a synthetic bone nut well the squire has a real bone nut what is going on with fender seriously another thing i really hate about this guitar is it has a really super thick polyester finish on it it just it feels really i can't stand the way it feels and i really don't like the way it looks the Squire has a polyurethane finish, so it's, it's actually a lot thinner and it doesn't feel as plasticky as this thing feels. Another thing is, is like the color is totally off of what it's trying to reproduce. If you look at Kurt's Jag, it color is, is very wrong. And I didn't buy this guitar to have like a copy of Kurt's Jag. I'm cool with other color guitars. I actually like having other color guitars. It's just, I wanted this sound and this setup was, you know, the tone I was chasing. And I don't like the way it sounds. It doesn't sound good. Uh, this specific body just seems to, to suck all the tone out. Um, I've even tried putting other necks on here, 24 inch scale necks and doing all kinds of stuff. And the sound chases this body. Lastly, the price. I can buy three Squire Classic Vibes for the price of this. So yeah, this, this guy's gotta go. Now, the one thing that I really do like about the Kurt Cobain Jag, oddly enough, is I guess not really <laughs> the Jag, but this book that comes with it is so cool and I wish I could keep this thing. It's an incredible book and it has a really awesome interview in here with, with Ernie Bailey and just lots of good stuff. It's such a cool book. I really like it. That's pretty bad that like that's the best thing I have to say about the Signature Series guitar. Yeah. Now the Squire. There's literally nothing that I didn't like about it except for whichever smart person in the factory decides to put on the, the like really thick, hard to remove sticker thingies on here that are protective. I don't know why they didn't use like the little film ones because this took me like three days of sitting around peeling and using goof off to actually get it off. It was it was awful. It was so bad. But yeah, this guitar, this specific one sounds absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. I've had about, I've gone through about, I guess, eight different Mustangs now. I I've had a lot of Mustangs. I had MG65, which was a made in Japan. I had an MG69, which is the ones Kurt used live. I've had one, two, three different vintage ones. I had a 1969 red one. I had the 1970 competition burgundy and I have the sunburst 1971. And I also had a Squire classic vibe 60s Mustang, which was insanely incredible. And I didn't know enough about guitars and tone that I was really stupid and I took it back to Guitar Center. But yesterday I was in here going through all my guitar takes and that damn classic vibe Squire sounds better than every single one of those Mustangs. It just does. And I mean, it takes a lot to say that I've spent a lot of money on a lot of Mustangs and that classic vibe Mustang just, I don't know what Squire's doing with their classic vibe stuff, but it is so good. It's so good. Don't let the name fool you. So I sold my competition burgundy blue Mustang, my 1970. It's It's gone. It's going on to a new home. I hope whoever has it is going to cherish it and love it as much as I did and always will. I'm going to miss it. Who knows? It, it might actually just be a wall piece because it's that kind of guitar. It's so damn rare. It's so crazy to get one of those and I was lucky enough to own it but I'm trying to make music I'm not trying to collect guitars I'm just all about selling what I don't use and this morning I ordered a classic vibe Mustang another one it's on the way so I know it's a long story but I just needed to tell you for it all to make sense that Squire classic vibe I mean Squire is Fender but they're doing a really good job they're doing a much better job on their Squire stuff than they are with their more expensive stuff so that's what I have to say that's my experience and uh, yeah. So I hope you guys dug it and I will see you guys very soon. All right, peace.